Well, folks, it has been a very long time playing this Let's Play. We have gone for the Noisemaker, Amateur, Professional, Diva, Rockstar, Legend, and Encore ranks, but we're still not done because we got to get our groupies up on stage, y'all. Yes, welcome back to Lemmings World Tour. We're on the final rank of this pack. Only 40 levels remain. The groupie rank is apparently filled with a bunch of levels that were designed to mimic the level design quirks of other Lemmings level creators. And so one of the f well, fun parts of doing this rank is trying to guess which of each of these levels uh, it was kind of inspired by. I'm going to suck at that. I'm not even going to try to figure out which levels are styled after other people. I'm just going to try to figure out what levels are styled after me, because apparently there are a couple levels in this rank that are um, styled after the way I make levels, which I don't even know that much about myself. So I'm going to be interested to see what Strato thought a arty level looked like. Anyhow, apparently I have uh, quite a few levels in here as well. So let's take a look. We're on level one, When the Cat's Away, by Kylie Minog... I don't know how to pronounce that. You all know I butcher any word that doesn't look remotely English. We've got 40 lemmings. We can kill up to three of them. Ooh, it's Remani's food tile set. Interesting. Now that the show is over, it's time for autographs. In fact, I've been collecting your signature of uh, signatures of level design throughout the past few months. Now I finally have enough material together to make some music in the style of other lemmings creators. Can you guess which levels belong to whom? No. I am clueless as to who this one is designed after. What is that a glass? <laughs> is that a glass of, like, vodka? Oh, no, that's a blender. I'm like, is that just a water glass that's gonna kill me? No, that's a blender. I've not seen this trap before. Oh, it's fire. Well, I don't know who this could be. This does not seem like the kind of level that I would make. Oh, it's a kitty! Meow! Okay, this level could be troublesome. So worst case, we can platform over these, but we're also going to need... No, 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 we can... Dig and fence at the end here, as I'm guessing what we're going to have to do. Hmm... Let's try building here, and you can glide. We can afford to let a couple lemmings die, so I'm not super worried at the moment. Oh, especially if this glider can actually... Yes! Now I think we can just... dig and fence through these traps. I'm hoping that's what we can do. Okay, maybe we got to dig a little closer to the trap. Darn. All right. In that case, new idea. Alright, I think that should do it. Why did you all walk? Okay. In that case, we're going to clone them while they're on the milk bottle. Because I did not realize that they would walk up that cheese. Alright! I 
think, yes. I do believe that will save enough lemmings. I have no idea who this was modeled after. Maybe it'll tell me at the end of each level, or at the very least, Strato will leave a comment, I'm sure, no, telling me which what each level was modeled after in terms of level design. Honestly, the only ones I'm going to get probably are maybe myself, and then maybe like Namita or Nepster, because they kind of have distinctive styles. Namita tends to make rather simplistic looking levels, and then Nepster kind of generally takes one or two pieces and then just makes a whole level pasting those everywhere. Okay, well, I don't know who that was designed after, but that was a fun level. That was very nice. Level 2. That's a hard level, that is. Okay, well, this is probably modeled after Flopsy. It's using one of his tile sets. And this seems... This looks kind of like a Flopsy-style level. As well as the name. This is... Oh, we got... This is not apparently a music song. No, this is... Oh, this is going to be hard for Flopsy level, isn't it? 20 lemmings, we got to save them all. Yep. Oh, crud. In 3, 2, 1. It's a hard for Flopsy level. Oh, they're going the wrong way. Okay. Hmm. Ah, uh, this doesn't look like it's going to be so hard. We can just kind of do that. Well, first off, can we actually... Okay, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. You're going to glide as soon as you come out. You're going to glide as soon as you come out. You are going to wait a little bit. Glide there. And now you're going to stone. You're going to... No. We're going to wait till you're at the very edge. Now you're going to stone and you're going to glide. And he actually goes up here, which is pretty nice. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. Now, unfortunately, here's the issue. The issue is the updraft trigger area is wonky, and it doesn't actually end where you think it would end. So I don't know how many builders I'm going to need in order to save them. But I'm going to try just one. Now, if that actually worked properly... Beautiful. So now we only have one... Uh, we only have one builder left. Oh, wait. I don't know why I thought we had... a climber. Why did I think we had a climber? Okay. Well, slight change of plans. dig through here. There we go. You've done that. We can mine through here. Alright. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I think that's easy peasy lemon squeezy. There we go. Yeah. Not too bad at all. Also, I only just now realized that's merging the Scrap Brain and uh, Starlight tile sets. That was a fun one. I really like that. Nice, simple little puzzle. I'm almost positive that that was modeled after Flopsy. Just in general. Everything points to him. All right, we got level three, Waking Up the Neighbors by Brian Adams. 40 lemmings, we got to save all 40. This is using Lix tile sets. Okay, I have... <laughs> well, I can tell you right now, it's not Ehotolot. 
because this looks like it's a disjoint union, <laughs> and he despises those. Okay, so this is literally anybody but Ichotolat. Gotcha. Ooh, I like the X of Everything novels. It's also not me, because I don't use Lix tile sets for Lemmings. Actually, it might not be... It might not actually be a disjoint union. If this is one of those levels where it looks like a disjoint union, but it's actually something else, then there's actually a chance it could be modeled after Ecotolot. Alright, well at the very least, yeah, we can merge this these guys by digging and bashing. This is gonna be a tricky level, though. Or, alternatively, we could just platform to the exit there as well. That's another option. Okay. Most of these guys are being held back just fine. I think it's this hatch and this hatch that are the... And then this hatch that we're going to need to worry about. All right. So we're going to just start the level by doing this. Oh, we're going to do a little re leapfrog-like thing, I think. By that, that's a reference to one of my levels. There we go. We do have to save everybody. Wait. We have to save everybody, but we got six bombers. Really, bro? Cool. All right, so that's three of the hatches done already. So now we have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. If we can send a climber and then dig, then maybe send another climber, maybe? I don't know how that would work. How far of a fall is that's too that's too far. Okay. I think we can figure something out. At this point there is no pressing need. Alright, here we go. Maybe if we do something like that. Oh no. Okay. This part here, that's gonna be the tricky one, I think. Okay. And there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so that's that hatch settled. Let's deal with this hatch. I think it's just a simple matter of, yeah, I think just one builder is all we need. No, it's not. Rats. I'm confused. That doesn't seem to add up. Actually, wait. Builders are a commodity. Let's try using a platformer. Okay, that was weird. I don't understand that, but all right, I'll deal with it. 
now I think we're going to need the, our leftover builders for this. There we go. Free builders for that part is just... What? No oh, rubber. Okay. We're gonna send a climber. Send the climber, and now we platform. Okay, I don't understand that at all, but whatever, we'll take it. Go back here, we're gonna build three times again. Get them to the exit. See, this is an example. I like this kind of disjoint union. I mean, again, even if some of the hatches can be combined, it's still a disjoint union because it's a bunch of tiny levels together. This is exactly why the disjoint unions are a valid and fun puzzle combination. It's because you gotta figure out which skills you can use for which hatches. Alright, and at this point we have more than enough skills left over. We can stack to do that and then bash for them out this way and then bash them out this way. All right. See? That was a fun level, and it was a disjoint union. Eat it, Iho. <laughs> Your opinion is invalid. <laughs> All right. I really like that one. Very fun. Very fun. I still don't know exactly who that... Again, you could say it's an homage to Iho just because of his hatred of disjoint unions, but I don't think that's it somehow. I, I have no idea who that would be. Level four. Praise be to God! I Okay, well, I know already that's me. I know already that's me! <laughs> no question to that, because I used to say that as an intro for all my videos. I stopped doing that just because I felt like it was redundant with God Bless. Eh, maybe I should start doing that again. I don't know. But the, this is definitely a colorful arty level, just ba based on the name and the Christian symbolism, and it's using some of my tile sets, and it's using terrain to make pictures. Oh, this is great. This is by City Point Live. Oh, and it's a free minute time limit! Time limit! Time limit! Time limit! Yeah! Thou shalt not make yourself an idol, so tear down this work of blasphemy. Amen! <laughs> the third commandment. What a good one. Actually, wait, was that the third one? No, that's the second commandment. Third commandment is not taking, uh, not carrying the name of the Lord in vain. Okay, we got two lemmings this side. Two here. Alright. Oh. I already see what... I already see... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh. Oh, no, I see what this is. Oh, this is great. This is great. This is great. Okay. You, you all, you all don't even know, but I know. I know. So we're going to bash for here. Now we're going to do that. Oh wait, hang on, no. We got to do that later. So wait for him to turn around here. Here we go, okay. Actually, the time limit might be a little bit of a tight one on this. Oh wait, hang on. Because I want to make a stacker and have them dig through all of that. Obviously. But... Hmm... I don't, I don't think there's a way to... Because we need two stackers to fill that up. Can? Okay, here's a question. I'm pretty sure we're not going to have enough time to platform across all this. Yeah, yeah, no way. No way, no how, Reggie. Huh, okay, okay, okay. This is gonna be a tricky one. The 
I love. Oh my gosh. I love what you've done with the terrain here to actually make the skull mouth. It's fantastic. I am not going to try to make the digger cross with the basher. It's possible, but I'm not going to try that. And I'm pretty sure we're not going to need to do that for the solution. Boom, 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 boom. Surely there's got to be a way around that. That one pixel gap. Doggone it. I hate that. Here's a question. If we... So... If you climb... Okay, no, you can't. Nope. That's not far enough. Because I was like, if we can if we can dig all the way through, like, towards the end here, we could all climb up, but uh, no, that's not possible. Don't make me cross the digger with the basher. That's... That's too much. I made a level where you cross a digger and a basher, but that was literally the entire level was cross the digger with the basher. They don't, I didn't add any of this extra stuff. And that level was in the final rank. I mean, this is also the final rank, but it's also the beginning of the final rank, which has its own difficulty curve. I also marked the terrain to show you exactly where you start the digger and exactly where you start the basher, so... You know... Man, the release rate's high, too. Dog on it. You're, you're seriously gonna make me cross the digger with the basher, aren't you? You're seriously gonna make me. Try. Are you serious? Are you serious? First try? That truly is an act of God. No two ways about that. that literally, literally, praise be to God for that. Like, holy cow. That could not have possibly been planned better. Wow. And they say miracles don't happen. Pretty in flavor that the solution to this was to cro was a cross, right? <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm literally I'm going to chalk that up as a miracle of God, though, because I literally could have bashed at any time from any place, and it would not have worked. I just got crazy freaking stinking lucky, or God literally blessed me and gave me that solution instantly. So I'm still. Still gonna call a little bit of a foul on that, unless there was marking of where to start. I mean, the digger, if the digger start is just make him dig as soon as he touches the ground, that's a pretty great start. But then there's so much you could do to fiddle with the basher that you would need to time that... I don't know, maybe other people had an easier time with this, but I'm... I would not count on everybody having as easy of a time with that one as I did. Obviously, I love the level. It was great. I mean, the level was quite literally made for me, so I, I'm giving you an A-plus on that one, obviously. Level 5, No True Scott Slam. Okay, this... No True Scott Slam. We don't have any Lemmings Formers from Scotland, as far as I can tell, or at least not, not any big ones. 20 Lemmings, we gotta save them all. This... This could be a Namita level. It's using one of his tile sets. And this this, this looks kind of like a Namita level. 
but as close to an imitation as possible for someone not living in Loch Ness. Or is this a Nessie level? Well, gee, it looks like we're gonna need... Oh my gosh, overturned minecart. That's not an exit. I've never really seen that before. I have not really played any mine mineshaft levels. Okay... Bum, 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 bum. Let's dig. Let's turn them this way. I think I already see. We can make this guy an athlete. <laughs> Here, put this bandit hat on. <laughs> put this bandit hat on. So now what we're gonna do? Let's see. No, then that makes a second splat height. Perhaps we start building lower down. What I'm trying to do... Nope, still, STILL not enough! I'm trying to figure out, cause... hang on. Maybe that's what we need to do, cause I'm... I'm already planning we send a climber this way, they find a way down here. Oh wait, no. That's actually not going to work, is it? Maybe we need to mine there. Hmm. Maybe not. Maybe if we make it... <laughs> Hang on, if we do this, can we get them out of a single builder? I bet we can. Let's try it first. Nope, just not enough. Well, that stinks. I'm pretty sure I've got the beginning of that correct. Oh wait, I got a better idea. I got a better idea. I've got a much, much better idea. I think with this strategy, we're going to win bigly. Oh, oh, great! I didn't even need to make him a climber! I mean, I'm, I'm going to make him a climber, because I need those builders. And now this way, yes... Actually... My backward senses tingle. Either that or this is one weird intended solution. Alright. And now you're just gonna bash through there to get to the exit. Now, unless I'm mistaken, I think we can just build... Alright, well... I think at this point the only issue is going to be turning the climber if he goes out that way. Maybe if we mine them out instead. I'm not actually sure if we can. But it's a start. Here's an idea. Here we go.
Okay, I actually don't think this is even a back route. Because now at this point we can just dig them. So we, all we did was save a climber. Alright, that was fun! Definitely like that one. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. I was thinking it was I was going to be more backwardish than that, but that actually seemed like it was pretty intended. Maybe there's a bunch of different ways to do that, but I, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. I'm really liking the groupie rank thus far. I mean, <laughs> it's always fun if I can find levels that are very clearly modeled after my style. That was that was that level five. I think it was four or five was very blatantly modeled after me, and I'm very flattered. Thank you. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. I think we got for five groupie levels today. Next time we'll be continuing the rank, and maybe we'll see more Artie levels. That's always a lot of fun. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.